African Population and Health Research Center, APHRC, is a pan-African non-profit, non-governmental international organization committed to conducting policy-relevant research on population, health and education issues in sub-Saharan Africa. The center was established in 1995 as a program of the Population Council and became an autonomous research institute in 2001. Um, our mandate at APHRC is basically to do three things. One is to do good research that is uh, acceptable globally using the best rigorous scientific evidence possible, get that research published in the top journals. Uh, but we don't stop there. We want to also use that research to inform policy discourse and policy options across Sub-Saharan Africa. And we want to build the capacity of African scholars uh, to undertake good scientific uh, research uh, across the region. This is Viwandani slums in Nairobi, one of the two informal settlements that APHRC does its work. In these informal urban settlements, challenges of poor sanitation, lack of access to proper medical facilities, higher rates of maternal and infant mortality, and increase in non-communicable diseases form part of the health challenges afflicting people here. One of APHRC's mandates is to use research findings to influence policy-making process to positively impact the lives of these residents. Working with Welcome Trust, an independent charity that funds research in human and animal health, APHRC initiated a three-year stimulating public discourse on health inequities in Kenya's informal settlements using research to address urban health challenges. Korogosho is the third largest slum in Kenya, host to over 150,000 residents. APHRC has had unique research findings from Korogosho. Contrary to prevailing perceptions, non-communicable diseases like diabetes, once thought to afflict the affluent, form part of the health challenges that affect these slum residents. Niliona kuna watu wengi eh wako na hiyo ugonjwa. Akina baba na akina mama hata watoto wanakuja nilaona wako na wako na hiyo ugonjwa. To alleviate some of these health challenges, EPHRC holds free annual medical camps and supports cardiovascular disease outreach clinics in Korogosho and Viwandani. If somebody is suffering from hypertension, from what we've been able to provide, and by the time these patients are coming, it's not just hypertension alone. You find most of the time they have developed complications. So apart from the hypertension that you're managing, there are some other conditions that you have to manage. So when you add that plus the, the low socioeconomic status of most of our clients, you find that they have now to choose between fend, feeding their families and between also buying medication. So most of them are not able to sustain that. During the medical camps, APHRC also shares its research through talks, drama, song and dance. Children get to learn important and relevant health messages. The project stimulated public discourse at both the community and national levels on the unique health vulnerabilities of people living in urban informal settlements relative to other groups in Kenya using findings from APHRC's research.
Through community discussion forums, APHRC stimulated debate on health issues affecting the urban informal settlements. It also highlighted the case for use of evidence-based advocacy for community-based, faith-based and non-governmental organizations working in the slums. Ripoti iliyotolewa na shirika la Afrika Population Health and Research Center inaonyesha kina mama wengi hupoteza maisha wakati wa ujauzito. The media and especially the local radio stations were used in giving the community members a voice and the chance to learn research findings. Through call-in sessions during programs where APHRC researchers shared findings on health issues, community members were able to air their views and be heard. Through the radio shows, a wider audience also had the opportunity to hear slum residents' unique health challenges. Hello, coach. Eh, sema. Okay, saa zingine naona unaweza enda hospitali. Ndio wakati wako umefika na labda nasa yuko karibu. Wengine wanawata wanaenda kulala. Sasa una prefer uende kwa huyo mtu wa kinyumbani, ju ataka hapo karibu na wewe mpaka dakika ya mwisho. Policy makers form a vital component of APHRC's policy engagement work. Working with relevant parliamentary committees, APHRC engages parliamentarians in finding sustainable solutions to the many health challenges in the slums. The Policymakers Forum provided an opportunity to share with the policymakers research evidence that would inform them while making laws that can improve the deplorable health issues in the informal settlements. Part of the project actually involved talking to key MPs on a one-on-one -on -one basis. The one-on-one -on -one sessions with MPs are really supposed to highlight the immediate and critical problems that constituents uh, of these MPs face. So this is basically empowering them to know exactly what is happening within their communities and to see how they can use those research findings, not necessarily only for the benefit of their communities, but for the benefit of the entire country. Members of the public also had an opportunity to debate and find solutions based on what APHRC research had found out. A public forum to discuss health inequities was held at Safari Park Hotel. Welcome Trust provided APHRC with an opportunity to enhance its work in influencing policy using research findings. One of the key routes that we use as APHRC to achieve some of our mandates is to work very closely with the media. So whether or not this project had a media component, would still have worked with the media. But the major idea there is to let the larger public know that, uh, number one, for example, with respect to cardiovascular diseases, that cardiovascular diseases are no longer diseases of the rich. They also afflict poor people. And if they afflict poor people and it is reported through the media, then the larger society knows about it and they can take corrective action. In its quest to promote research use in policy making processes and engage a wider audience, APHRC will focus on regional and international bodies with an aim to increase the impact of research driven policy work. <laughs>